Oh my god. This is like fabulous Mrs. Claus. What is that? It's small. Hi guys, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And today we are taking our thrift flip challenge to the next level by trying to recreate our best red carpet looks. We want to thank Ocean's 8 for sponsoring this video and for giving us the inspiration to take on this challenge. So you want to hit a jewelry store? Not exactly. A diamond mine. Yes, that's exactly right. Or what? The Met. The eight leading ladies, including Sandra Bullock and Rihanna, show us some of their best looks for the Met Gala. So we're going to attempt to show you our look for an equally glam event, but on a thrift store budget. Let's go. <laughs> um, I feel like something's a little bit different. Uh, new background, who is this? Oh, she cute. If you guys haven't seen the new Law Fives re remade over our space, it's exciting. Go check it out. I feel like this is very Riri. So Riri. Oh my god, this one's like very cool. <laughs> Who's sitting in this though? I don't know. Probably you. <laughs> Am I on the red carpet or what? <laughs> yeah. What would Rihanna wear? W W R W. And we're back. And we're gonna get fashionable. Okay, um, let's do a quick overhaul of what we got. Mm -hmm. We both got a pair of earrings. Yes, I got these like glam ruby ones. Cute, I got these glam. I'm gonna pretend they're sapphire because I'm a, not a Virgo, I'm a September baby. Plus your vibe is blue. Also blue. So, and a ring. Yes, I got a gold bangle because I just needed something. Shoe game, cute. Shoe game strong and gold and vintage and looks Fancy. And I will literally wear these after, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, and now onto dresses, which is probably the most exciting part, the part you guys are most interested in, and the part I'm most nervous about. Me too. Um, oh. I would never normally grab this, but because this is Met Gala. I was like, if we don't use it, you need to get it anyways, because it's just... It's like cool 90s like neckline, which I'm like all about the 90s, because I am the 90s. Like the gold is just so red carpet too. So there's this goldy navy snakeskin tight dress. And I also picked up this questionable bigger dress where I think I'm gonna use the base of the skirt to add like this glam train thing. Stay tuned to find out what that means. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then for mine, I kind of did a two piece thing that I'm gonna make a one piece thing. So I found this beautiful red short dress. So cute. With like ruching or whatever you would call this. But it's obviously too short to be red carpet, so I found this red one that's very basic but has this beautiful red like bottom to it. So I think I'm gonna take the short dress and do like either a train or like a bottom to the dress with this one. Wish me luck. Some shoulders. Some shoulders. Oh yeah. Oh yes. 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 Okay, let's get started. So as you saw, I picked up this short mini kind of bandage dress that I want to use for the base of it, but obviously this mini dress isn't as glam as the Met Gala usually is, so I wanna do kind of a longer dress with this. Now, Rihanna in the trailer is wearing this red off-the-shoulder dress that is so gorgeous, so I wanna try and make this more of an off-the-shoulder thing than like a tube top. So I do have this long dress that I'm gonna use A to make the dress longer, but also for an off-the-shoulder thing. So I'm gonna cut kind of what I think I need for the bottom of it off, save that, and then work on the sleeves, because I wanna see how that looks together before I figure out the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So with these two strips I cut off from the extra part of the dress, I'm gonna stitch them up into two long bands that can kind of be draped around the arm and attached to that little bandage dress to make an off the shoulder moment. Moment. A moment. the dress I want to do a long train slash cape effect since I love a good cape and it's gonna start from where the off the shoulders meet at the back and trail all the way to the floor I'm gonna make this out of the bottom half of the dress I cut off earlier and my dress is completed this is it's hard it's kind of hard to show you but you'll see it on me this is how the train ended up um, 
Wow, that's real informative, everybody. I kind of had to leave a little bit of a loop um, where the zipper is so I could open it to get it on, but I think it only adds to how fancy it looks, and I love how long it is. This is gonna be so gorgeous, like literally considering wearing it to other things. But after all of that, when I combine it with my gold shoes and my ruby earrings and my gold bangle, I am ready for the Met Gala, or at least ready to steal some diamonds. Oh. So this dress makeover or upcycle is going to be a two-part series. I have this original dress, which honestly, I kind of like. It's a little out there, but because this is Met Gala inspired, I can be a little bit out there. The second part of this dress upcycle is using this questionably utilitarian dress. I don't know who wore this or why, but um, I'm going to use the skirt part of this to add a very cool, like, I was looking up what it's called. It's called a panel, panel trail onto um, my sleek snakeskin dress here. I think the only thing I need to do is cut out these stupid hanger straps because like who actually uses these and when they pop out it is so embarrassing. Bye. And then the next step is to cut the skirt off this dress. It's so full. I'm hoping that'll add a lot of volume to the dress. I guess I'm just gonna cut, start cutting. Hope for the best. Cut off this ugly belt. So I have my skirt off and now I'm actually going to use the back of the skirt as the front because the back of the skirt had a seam all the way down the middle and my goal is to open up the front. So it just makes sense to use the seam that's already there. Part of this seam is a zipper and the rest is a seam. So I guess I'll take this out. And then I guess seam rip this. Oh, which it's already like busting out. Cool. Let's turn it inside out. It's always a good rule. So now that I have my dress all opened up, I'm just going to sew all of the edges so that it looks chic. And that might take me a while, so see, see, you, see you later. That's a lot. So I have my skirt panel all hemmed up now. And all I'm going to do is gather it and pin it to the back half of my dress and sew it on so it's attached. Hopefully this works and it's like not too heavy or anything. Should be fine, it'll be fine. Wow, I'm actually very surprised how easily this came together. I hope it looks just as good on. So my last thing I wanted to do for this ensemble, ensemble was do a choker. I just thought it would like be very 90s, add something interesting because it's the Met Gala after all. So on our community tab um, on the Sorry Girls channel, I asked if I should do this black, well we didn't show a photo, we just said black and gold hardware choker or a navy choker, which I would have made out of um, some extra fabric. And um, everybody voted for this, which I'm like not super happy about. But I think it'll look, it'll look cool. <laughs> Just very met. So let me make this into a choker. It already has these little holes here. So I'm just gonna use some black ribbon so I can tie it on. So I have my um, chic 90s inspired shoes and some other earrings, not these ones, to incorporate into the outfit. Let me put it all together and see how it looks. Counting down, three, two, one. Ooh. 
so... $16.5 million in each of your bank accounts five weeks from now. Came on. These outfits turned out amazing. Definitely worthy of robbing the Met Gala with these looks. Thanks so much to Ocean's 8 for sponsoring this video and make sure you guys catch the film in theaters June 8th. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you like, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.